Ducks, geese, and swans, often collectively referred to as waterfowl, make up the order and Ceriformes. Members of this order are generally characterized by long necks and anisodactyl feet, with three webbed toes facing forward and one smaller toe facing backward. And Ceriformes are highly adapted to an aquatic lifestyle. Dense, waterproof contour feathers cover an underlying layer of down feathers, which aids thermoregulation. The uropygial gland, or preen gland, near the tail, secretes an oil that is frequently spread with the bill along the feathers to maintain their waterproof nature. Contour feathers are interlocked with Velcro-like barbs, allowing air to be trapped against the body for additional warmth as well as buoyancy. Internal air sacs associated with the lungs and extending throughout the body further improve buoyancy. For species that dive beneath the surface of the water to forage, Air is expelled from these air sacs and feathers are compressed against the body to allow individuals to sink. The bill of Anceriformes has an upper mandible, or maxilla, that is fixed to the skull, while the lower mandible can move freely. At the tip of the maxilla is a soft piece of skin with a hooked nail, particularly useful for grabbing fish. The overall shape of the bill is closely associated with diet. For species that feed on algae, the bill is generally flat with fine lamellae lining the margins of the bill that function to strain microscopic food from water or mud. For piscivores, the lamellae are replaced by sharp, tooth-like serrations, seen here on the snow goose. Blue and green feathers adorning many species are not true pigments, but instead are produced by the refraction of light through feather microstructures. This is why the green of this green-winged teal is more vibrant under direct sunlight.